Well, a NASA mission is being run from right here in Utah. Yeah, everything from the design and the build of some high-tech equipment here to mission control and research, they're based in Logan. News specialist Mike Anderson explains what they're looking for and what this could mean for future NASA missions. Mike? Yeah, Dini and Mike, you know, they're hopeful that it could mean, you know, more partnerships like this in the future. But for now, they're especially excited to see what they find as NASA does their first ever study of gravity waves as seen from space. And liftoff of CRS-29. It's called the Atmospheric Waves Experiment, or AWE, and it's one of the payloads that just launched en route to the International Space Station last week. And now comes the anticipation. I'm personally very excited to see uh, what, what the scientists are going to do with this data. This will be really could revolutionize our understanding of, of Earth's weather's connection to space weather. Bert Landborn is Oz project manager based at Space Dynamics Laboratory, where scientists designed the instrument that will help take a close look at gravity waves from space. The device has four infrared telescopes that could start taking readings as soon as this weekend. I mean, unbelievable when you think of how much work was put into bringing this instrument alive and then putting it onto the space station. Mike Taylor and Ludger Shearless are the physicists at Utah State University who will then research the data to see what they can learn. What, what we are trying to understand with the all mission is the connection between weather on the ground, tropospheric weather, and weather out in space. And it's believed that that space weather has an impact on satellite communications and GPS and how well they work at different times. So that energy is there. And we're trying to assess now on a global scale. What they learn could be monumental. Only time will tell. But for now, having so much of a NASA mission based right here in Logan, Utah. This is just a dream come true. And physicists here at Utah State University will be studying those gravity waves for about the next two years. And they're hopeful that eventually, based on what they find, NASA could come up with some predictive models for space weather and how it could impact satellite communications. Back to you. Pretty interesting research. Mike, thank you.